Hi, everybody. I have not recorded an episode in about three weeks. First, cue the intro music, and then I'll explain why. Alright, so, I have not recorded an episode in three weeks. The reason why is because, um, where do I begin? I went on a little trip to Nashville to serve as a judge for a competition, which is really fun. It was a great opportunity for me that I took this summer. Um, but unfortunately, while I was on that trip, I got the cold. I spent about half that trip sick with a cold in my hotel room, despite wearing my mask everywhere, so I'm not really sure how I got it. But I came home, and then I found out that my cousin passed away. So, yeah, I've been taking a break for just a little bit, but I'm back to recording, and I just, I love educating people and helping you get through life in the most healthy way possible, so I'm back to recording episodes. Just a disclaimer, I am still sick with my cold, so I might have to make some weird cuts and edits in this episode. If you hear them, I'm so sorry, just I don't want to include my coughing in the episode and annoy you, the listeners. (laughs) Anyways, I wanted to make this episode about breast self-exams. I sent a tweet out on my personal Twitter a few days ago telling trans women and everybody else that takes some sort of form of artificial estrogen to regularly check your breasts because I learned in my women's health class this past, I wouldn't say this past semester, but last spring, I learned that women who take estrogen um, are at a higher chance of developing breast cancer, and that's unfortunate, so I I just want everybody to use preventive medicine, like I explained in a recent episode, to make sure that if you do uh, develop breast cancer, that it is caught as early as possible. So let's start with what I do as, uh, or when I do my own self-exam. So I start by just standing up in front of a mirror. So... You first want to do a visual examination. So look at your breasts. Is there any dimpling? Are there any abnormal growths or discoloration or discharge? The 3Ds, if you will. Dimpling, discharge, discoloration. If you don't know what dimpling looks like, it's kind of like a a puckering of the skin on your breast tissue. Or I mean, not the tissue, on the skin of your breast Uh, You can search images of it, but it's basically just like a pursing or a puckering of the skin. And then after the visual examination, you'll take your pointer and your middle finger. So have those two fingers and then start massaging in circles, starting at the nipple. Again, you're still standing up for this. Um, Massage around in circles, starting at your nipple, and then massage outward. And as you're doing this physical massaging, you are checking for abnormal growths and masses that are not supposed to be there. I know it's really hard when they're small. Trust me, I know I'm trained in how to detect growths, and sometimes they're just not detectable by physical touch. So when you're, I think, 50 is the recommended age, um, go in for your mammograms. And then after you finish the physical massaging, you can, oh, by the way, you can do that massage in the shower too, if that feels nice, but, um, you just, as long as you're standing up, not quite sitting up, but like actually stand up and do it. And then after you're finished with the standing portion of the self-exam, lie down on your back so the breast tissue can spread and then do the same massage pattern so you'll take the two fingers and massage in circles again starting at the nipple and then going outwards and then one last little tip that i want to give you because not a lot of exam instructors will tell you this check your armpits too The most common area, or I mean, I don't know if it's the most common area, but a common area for breast cancer to arise is in the axillary area. So when you are doing self-exams, 
check your armpits. It's because there's a high concentration of lymph nodes there, and that means that the chance of a cancerous tumor is or developing is higher. Again, when you're lying down, you're trying to check for abnormal growths and lumps and masses that aren't supposed to be there. I know that there are supposed to be some little bumps that you may feel, but those are supposed to be normal bumps that you're feeling regularly um, and you feel them every time you do your own self-exam. But I mean, check for lumps that you wouldn't normally feel in your breast tissue and yeah, I think that's it for the actual examination. It should be very quick and very short. Hopefully not too painful. I guess that's another thing you should check for when you're massaging. When you're massaging, check for abnormally painful areas. Um, Let's see. And then I was going to say something else. Oh, okay. So I say trans women should check their breast tissue, but really anybody that has any sort of estrogen flowing through their body. And this includes cis women, um, trans women, postmenopausal cis women that are taking estrogen to relieve um, menopause symptoms and people that are on hormonal birth control. So if you are in any of those categories, then I highly recommend that you start doing breast self exams. I believe they are recommended to be done once a month. That's what I try to do. I try to do them once a month. So yeah, I hope you have a, a, an okay time doing your breast exams. As long as you're doing them regularly and you're happy and healthy, that's awesome. If you don't, of course, contact your doctor and proceed from there. Okay, that's it for this episode. <laughs> Um, I hope my cuts weren't too annoying in this episode, and I'm also realizing that I said, uh, and um a lot in this episode, so I'm sorry for that, but again, it's my first time recording in, like, three weeks. Yeah, that's it. See you next week. <laughs>